What's up everyone and welcome back to the Live Alive. Today let's get started with Darwin Nunez saves Reds blushes by scoring injury time winner. Liverpool left it late to beat Nottingham Forest as Darwin Nunez netted an injury time winner at the city ground. The Reds were once again without Mohamed Salah and fielded teenager Bobby Clark in midfield but failed to break down a stubborn Forest side. However, deep into injury time, Jurgen Klopp's men snatched a victory to keep their lead at the top of the Premier League. The result is a huge boost to Jurgen Klopp's side with title rivals Man City and Arsenal playing their fixtures against Man United and Sheffield United in the next two days. Player ratings, Kawamin Kelleher, 8, Connor Bradley, 7, Ibrahim Konate, 7, Virgil van Dijk, 8, Andrew Robertson, 6, Joe Gomez, 5, Alexis McAllister, 7, Bobby Clark, 6, Harvey Elliott, 6, Cody Gakpo, 2, Luis Diaz, 6, Darwin Nunez, 8, Dominic Sobarslai, 6, Wataru Endo, 7, Jaden Dans, 6, Constantinos, Simicas, 6. Jurgen Klopp was left absolutely furious at one moment during second half of Forest v Liverpool. Passage of play in the 74th minute saw Alexis McAllister bundled over with no foul given, immediately before Paul Tierney awarded a free kick to the home side for minimal contact by Connor Bradley on Callum Hudson Odoi. The German didn't take kindly to the official's decision and duly vented his ire, which saw the recipient march over to the touchline to lecture the 56 year old, Liverpool Echo. Journalist Paul Gorst has been providing updates on the match via X, and he noted at that moment, Jurgen Klopp is absolutely furious with Paul Tierney for awarding Forrest a free kick near his technical area. Gets a talking to as that age-old feud is renewed. As every Liverpool fan will know, there's quite the bit of history between Klopp and Tierney, and there appears to be no love lost between them today either. The Reds boss couldn't be blamed for feeling aggrieved over the very soft free kick which was given against Bradley on Hudson Odoi, although we suspect there was plenty of pent-up frustration from his team's vain pursuit of the opening goal at the city ground. Klopp confirms Kelleher talks about departure. With news of Alison Becker's long-term injury being confirmed, Jurgen Klopp has delivered a Kawamin Kelleher update that we will all love to hear. As reported by Paul Joyce for The Times, the 56-year-old said, It is completely normal that you have these discussions with players who are ready. An outfield player in a situation like Kawamin would never come and talk about these sorts of perspectives because they have 10 other positions. With a goalkeeper it is slightly different, but it never reached a point whereby it was, you have to stay, shut up. It was just a normal discussion about his future. The most important thing was we had to help him on the next step in his development by playing more games. I saw it the same way as what the player would say. I think now he would be pretty happy with the decision he made in the summer, for me there was no chance of him leaving so I was not interested in who was asking. It would have had to be a proper price to give us a chance of doing something in a difficult market, it is not like other goalkeepers moving from A to B for £15 million or £20 million. That is totally unrealistic and nonsense. It seems then that there was a chance the Irishman could have left the club last summer and the same report states that an offer of £20 million from Nottingham Forest was swiftly rejected. We don't want to lose a player with the level of talent that the 25-year-old has but he deserves to play football every week and if the right offer from the right club came in, then it's clear our manager wouldn't have stood in his way, although it benefits us to have a top quality stopper as our backup. The German could never build such strong relationships with his younger players if he didn't make decisions that were best for them in the long term. Liverpool ace confirms Man United wants him. Liverpool forward Cody Gakpo has confirmed that he was in contact with Manchester United and spoke with manager Eric Ten Hag prior to his move to Anfield. The Netherlands international was reported as a top target for United in the summer of 2022 and he was continuously linked with a switch to Old Trafford. However, the Red Devils made the decision to sign Anthony from Ajax for £82 million up front to bolster the attack before the summer transfer deadline. United were fancied to return for Gakpo in January 2023 with the need for a striker, but Liverpool picked them to his services with an advanced deal in December. Gakpo, who joined for £37 million up front, has now revealed that United were indeed interested in him and there was contact with the club and Ten Hag too. He told Sky Sports, I think it was the summer before, I joined Liverpool, but I was in contact with the club, United. I spoke to the manager, Ten Hag, from them as well, obviously. He's Dutch so yeah, I spoke to him as well, but at the end, it didn't go through and that's just it. In the winter, Liverpool came. Best decision for me. 
Gakpo has not been exceptional for Liverpool since his move from PSV Eindhoven, but he has fared much better than Anthony in terms of goal contributions. The Dutchman has registered 18 goals and 8 assists from 63 appearances for the Reds. He has averaged around 61 minutes per game for the club. On the contrary, Anthony has only 9 goals and 4 assists, having played 8 more games for United, 71. He has managed around 64 minutes per outing. Apart from twice the number of goal involvements as Anthony, Gakpo cost £45 million less in terms of the fee. Gakpo has also offered plenty of versatility. Aside from playing up front, he has also operated from the left wing, right wing, and in the centre of the park. While Gakpo has been a reasonable signing for Liverpool, the same can't be said about Anthony amid his struggles in the Premier League over the past year. And that's the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me.